stylistically feel like they have an edge here, but starting <laughs> on the red side, we've got a lot of questions to ask. Now, you mentioned things like... The Holy fuck, three mid lane bans against Rookie? Lane. We have a triple Are you scared? <laughs> yeah. Ban Corky, ban Corky, ban Corky. Ban Corky. Yeah, it's just a, hey, please, for the love of God... Ban Corky. Ban Corky. That is any way worthwhile. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, huh? trying to get him uncomfortable. But that's the thing. Like, they were just first pick Corky. Have always been such a strong point for, and then LPL and teams love to want to a few deals. He's going to have a ton of different things they can go back to. Galio potential here for a scout if he wants to go towards, but Wukong left open. Means I oh, imagine yeah. that JJ is probably going to try and pick that one up from himself. Makes a lot of sense when we've talked about the Wukong priority. Only had that two times, but Corky first. Oh. So Scout does get some prior, but Corky is a first pick. Not done by many teams. No, I mean, the only That's other team one for EDG. does it is LNG, because oh, you yeah. end up giving away Renata and Wukong here. You can then take the Callista on the next rotation if you want oh, to. Oh, Poppy Blind. Get that I like Poppy really Blind. Solid spot lane and also the jungle matchup, but... There she goes, Santa Tom. Corky, Santa Tom. Towards the Poppy, so... Classic. Surprised to see the Poppy taking this early, but it's definitely oh, something that's risen up in priority. Um, no, no, don't, no, whoa, whoa. Because don't you look that. at a lot of the junglers that are going through the patch at the moment, a lot of dashes. Laundry are the, yep. sorry, the Corky as well here for Scout, going to have a ton of dashes. So, um, interesting to see the difference in priorities here for both teams. Oh, yeah, I mean, it feels like, again, you just said it, a lot of dashes in the meta, and especially with Corky already. Have a fun time, says Cast of the Scout. So, as we do that, we get the suspected bottom lane, but EDG going okay. safer as well here, Dagda. Renata, Callista, a bit of a time here for Foe to compete for God versus Viper and Mako, who, once again, as you were saying before, have taken the safer way out with slower lanes. The only problem for EDG, though, is they have zero agency in the early stages. Corky That's doesn't true. want to be played around. Senna, Tan Kench doesn't want to be played around. So a lot of this is going to be on Flandre, but Flandre doesn't even get the counter pick here. So it means that you're trying to find some <laughs> Juggle bands, yeah, good. Play around easily. And I don't know many blind picks at the moment. Baker Yasuo, bad side, like, against oh, Bro. No way. Easily play around this pick and get it set up for success. And B5 banning away junglers here as well, knowing that they're going to have that opportunity to <clears> um, <throat> to for, to sorry, get rid of any problems for Karsa. Means no that way. it makes it easier for Karsa to try and play around with this. Baker Yasuo, Maybe I'm going to bet. They're just going to go full late game and go for something like the KL for Flandre. But I don't know. This <clears> just <throat> seems like All right, weird next bands. I mean, Rich has so many pocket picks. What? So Rookie's mid like, pick. I really um, wonder. He's probably just going to play Oriana. He, he's like an Oriana OTP. And with this many mid bends, he just picks his Oriana, right? Shorty. Rookie loves his Oriana. Last split, he was maining it. But Dagda, I think this is the first time, maybe ever in the LPL, that we've made it to the second ban phase, and Wukong is just not looked at whatsoever. They should ban it here, EG. Yeah, I'm really surprised. They want to blind Nar. I actually see the Wukong picked up, but um, I mean, giving that across. Karsa is back. Yep, Karsa and Rookie are back, baby. I mean, Karsa at least at the moment does have the poppy, so can try and prevent some of those engages. So maybe that's what they're thinking. We're talking about Rookie though, being incredibly strong on these control mages. The Oriana, honestly, Rookie has made his name so many goddamn times in this pick. Yeah. Like he is incredible. Ooh. On Ooh. The ways it's going Talia instead. Talia's pretty good as well. Fights. He's been absolutely stellar at oh, it. But better. looks like you're going to go back towards the Talia They need a good instead. count pick top. I mean, he had a fantastic game What jungler do you pick here? I think Trundle is the best jungler actually. Already a very proactive comp here from B5. <clears> they should up. pick Trundle. Round out draft. For now, I want to see where EDG puts some priority because as you were saying, the proactivity through lanes, the, the winning out. Uh, Sinzo? Really Why did I pick Sinzo? I think Trundle is better. And as we get Jeja on someone proactive, I think now it comes down like to Trundle Flandre, more. who we've been critical of. And I mean, you have at least the Zinzo to try and play around that top side, mm -hmm. which can help, but what do you play? They're Giovanni. Like, Gwen mm. is off the board. Oh, okay. No, that's not it. <laughs> Here comes the Nar. <laughs> Here comes the Nar. I mean, no, no, no. yes, you have great late game scaling on EDG, but you have nowhere shooky, shooky, for shooky. JJ to be able to play around. Like, you... Lose out of the, the mid lane push with the Talia. You don't actually get to contest the guys, they're the playing against Talia the last place team who's never won a game. Of course, they're going to have the some lane. fun. Um, right. Or the 2v2 on bot as well. So you you always end up with Rookie playing numbers advantage in favor of V5. And even if Rookie's not there, you just win out in the 1v1 top. And the three All right, Gamba it up, Gamba it up. Yeah, I mean, I, I expected even Gamba to it some up, lane that baby. they try and play around, but they literally have nothing at the moment. And you get pushed in every single lane, so Karsa just gets to do what he wants. I mean, I'm also worried because you picked a Sejuani and a Zin Zhao into a Poppy. So, Q yeah. is kind of useless if Karsa is in the right place at the right time. We've also got a lot of disengage in things like the Talia Dagda. <clears throat> uh, this seems like a hard first game for EDG, and 
when we talked about V5 being proactive in the early game, having a playstyle that really suits being able to mount pressure as time goes on, then you've got the perfect draft for them in <laughs> game number one. And EDG just going to try and have to fend it out. <clears> for 30 Are they playing Senna Lee Sin bot? I told you guys, Senna Lee Sin bot is broken one year ago. I told you, Senna Lee Sin bot is broken. Senna Lee Sin bot, I told you, is broken one year ago. And I played it. I played it with Neon in Duo Q. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to see when I was a pro and it was broken. That we've gotten already coming through from Cars as well. If he wants to run the poppy, like this is where you've got so much pressure here to try and make things happen on the bot lane. I feel like I'm glad you guys like the T1 draft. I want to stick with this because EDG versus V5 is an absolutely unreal game. Just remember that Scout and Rookie not only have pride on the line, but more so their team's success at the moment. B5 are undefeated in yeah, the I saw the draft. I saw the draft. Draft is pretty cool. Yo, Rocket Raccoon. Thanks for the tier one, bro. Thanks for the emote as well. This game is literally a world final, basically, or an LPL final. So I can't just watch T1 Smash Bro with some fun champs when there's a like a, a, a finals level series. Sorry. I'm here for good games. As I mean, it comes quick and we can watch the fun games yeah. afterwards. We can watch the T1 well, game like, after this and review it. Relatively early but um, this has to be watched. Yo, MV, thanks for the. It's always a strange one because usually we're Yo, the late, for the late ones. What? <laughs> I, mean, our playoffs done so I promise you guys, this is a world final level team against each other. But this is what it feels like. This must be a graphics bug, right? This must be a graphics bug. Hello? Hello? This is a graphics error, right? Surely. Oh my god, Photic, you fucking inter. Oh, bot is lost. We'll actually get the steal. We'll have to see how JJ wants to try and react to this. But it definitely feels again like we're getting what we talked about. EDG trying to at least go for a regular. He has no ward. Well, you're supposed to have a ward. A to you always get a ward, even if you don't buy it. To play as as want. I mean, you can see Viper and Mako just backing Pog, away. The let's go, man. Yo, Jesse, thanks for the love. Oh yeah, it's on a it's a bug, it's a bug, it's a visual bug. I've been following Rich it's since he was pro hops. Hope he wins. Dude, it's crazy. Look at the chat. Maybe he wants to base first base and get a pickaxe or a BF sword. No, there's no logic in not buying items. I'm sorry, there isn't. Unless you're Orn, it doesn't make sense. Rookie here gonna crash the third wave, so maybe they try and set up some sort of play on the bottom side at least threaten it so then as you can see viper and mako have to completely give up their unless you're orn it makes no sense wave on bot side is about to crash though so i imagine we're just gonna wow mako rookie shahu rookie gonna continue to farm up may look Karsa took his bot camps since i was shun on this bottom sorry shun yeah that's a wrong series <laughs> yeah. jj on his bottom Hello. side there to try and make sure that he can cover any sort of play on the bottom lane i know you're close dagger it's about, it's about thinking about a good seismic shove speaking of uh, rookie is going to get half HP here on Scout, so a really good opening trade here from the bottom lane, from the mid lane, excuse me. Dagda, I was scampering for my charger, my headset at the perfect time as I decided to start beating. It's crazy. So now that we're charged, the chat's oh, like, just excited for the I feel like people it's don't right really know what Draft so Kingdom sure is. That it's gonna be good. Uh, Carso, Another person in chat spamming T1 uh, Draft Kingdom because Kerry has playing Lee Sin. JJ though, JJ Game 1, Genji DRX. They have Seraphine, Kogmo, Lulu, Draft Kingdom. Guys, stop with this Draft Kingdom. I'm not going to rent. I'm just saying, please stop it. Oh my god, they're playing, they're playing Warwick top um, with Shyvana jungle and Ivern mid. Draft Kingdom. Guys, chill out. Backs away it means that Caster is just going to have another full clear to go through, or at least a, a yeah. third side of the map. Uh, a beautiful start again. And Rare picks Yogi equals Ruff kingdom. Talked a lot about <clears throat> position here for V5, being able to proactively do what they. All want. right, I'm going to focus on this game now. Hell, Skip Fox. Pops winning. I've only ever seen Sejuani. <laughs> I've only ever seen Sejuani win this matchup once, and it was um, Nugarin to Rascal. Said you wanted three solo kills. Well, this is the problem. There's little that JJ can do. 
You're looking going well. I have three losing lanes, so I can't actually. <coughs> Better than that, Narwins. Able to go in onto the opposite side for red buff because if he runs into Carsa, well then he ends up dying because you've got rookie and rich who can move across faster. So Carsa gets to clear all his camps. Carsa even waiting until most of the people in the game were level four as he clears. His the whole chat is watching Elski on the second monitor because. Well, coming through in your jungle camps. So even though the jungle camps are still level one, the next. Oh, big trade. Should be a lot higher for Carsa on these uh, as he starts to go through so True. eventually he'll he's going to be pretty massive so um i just don't know what you're supposed to do here jj like you can try and punish rich if you want to who's going to try and continue pushing in the spot side or maybe you can try and make the play bot but you don't really have lanes that enable you this slow early game but v5 winning both sides really hard and they have mid push looks like just a v5 stomp this game and i mean there's been small moments like this where we've questioned some of the trust for edg in this split and i feel like story wise it all fits in with EDG not really being that same team that, you know, left Worlds uh, at, at the end of 2021. That came into this new year looking so strong with JJ and then kind of fell off a cliff. Like, I don't have a second monitor. Such. RNG last split who went to MSI, represented the region well, and once again won another uh, mid-season invitational. EDG being in the back Wait, it just said that line, Rich bought Death Dance. It had Death Sense logo here. Okay, Murkred's first item is good. Pretty slow game. Rookie needs to get to base soon. Maybe this wave or next wave. Yes, six could run towards bot. I think he needs to base soon though. Cars is coming. Actually, Xinzao versus Poppy Poppy Talia. Unplayable. Cars is here though. So you do need to be careful. Spotted out though. At the very least, the spot out here is Rookie starts walking towards his jungler. He's tagged up. Wind becomes lightning, but castles off the watching something. Warden says, Do what I dare hey, you. Uh, at the very least, watching. now Rookie has the weaver's wall. So Dags, we can talk a little bit about what happens at six mark. Because Rookie not only can keep going oh. away, but now start influencing some of the side lanes. Mm. Merch? You guys want me to make merch again? We did it last year. We could do it again. But both our rookie can push in mid, look to lean bot. Wave is going to slow push now off of Botix freeze <laughs> in the bot side. And that is definitely going to be the window that B5 are looking Last year's merch was pretty cool. Um, Shun, or sorry, why do I keep doing that? JJ <laughs> is moving back down to this bottom what side. What the fuck? PP God just flashed on him? PP God with a flash here though. What I'm is not he? sure if you take that one. As he's fully committed after the Where's the rookie ult? Oh, he's going to flash on him here if he goes too deep. Time. Botix coming no, in he red can't. hot, but... PP God obviously wanted something, and to be fair, Viper did flash, so I guess you take that. Wearing the hoodie right now, legend. Look, who am I? Why does PP God do that? Is he just a Jika chat? <laughs> I am a man of faith, and I have yeah. full faith in what PP God is attempting to achieve. He's just a Jika chat. I may not always know what it is, but that is the mystery of faith. <laughs> oh, That's rookie true. missed. I mean, you believe, you believe, right? So well, he got his support item gold. As well, uh, you get the flash out of Viper where. He will have the time Ken Jolty, but safety in lane is not one thing we're saying at the moment, especially with Carter oh, coming no flash. down. First on. Gank on the oh, uh, that's why PP God did it. So it's so it later on when he reganks, he's no flash. Say, that's not good, Carter, but it ends up being beautiful enough to That's why he does it. Five head he gets flash three steps ahead of us. Yeah. Of Viper, and instantly Carter's like, I want me a piece of that. Runs Speed down to the bot head. side. Good setup by PP God. You get to crash the wave. Great stuff coming through from V5. Wait, is he just running to Herald? This is just nice and taking rookies. Playing around, kind of the okay, rookies there. It's fine. Through these pushing lanes. Now you can get rookies able to push in mid. He can then rotate up towards the Rift Herald. Actually, it's insane. He just runs from bot, gets the kill, runs mid to top, starts Herald while his bot lane pushes out bases and runs top side too. Kalista should just run bot here. Pork, let's go, man. Yo, MK, thanks for the four. Jigakut. Wow, they have Drake. First blood bot, winning top, pushing mid, and Herald. V5 is gonna win worlds. As you said, PP God gives us faith to believe that this follow-up play comes 30 seconds later. And just really well timed. Botic hitting six off the cannon wave means that they can throw PP God in and it can catch his Viper Mako completely off guard. Just perfect timing window from V5 to make that play. Maybe T1 or Genji, yeah. Well, also very true. First kill on the board. It might be a slower early game for our fans out there, but still. B5 are doing exactly what we expected them to. At the very least now for Jedja, yeah, I'm kind of curious as to where he goes because Herald play is there available for Casa. As you said, Excel, yeah, really Excel could win worlds. Look at bottom lane. I mean, this is just 
pretty hard to watch. Uh, even though it's a Tarm, it's a Senna, you just look at what's happening. Oh, they have kill pressure now. Come through. Mega has a lot of spears in him, and the rent's not even needed. Ult the top side. We keep going through the lanes, Zagder, and, you know, I guess we'll wait for the next dragon. We'll see what EDG have to say, because let's say they do survive the laning phase, and I'm trying to give you something. Let's say they do survive it. At what point do we be like, okay, EDG, you got through the early game, now you can start talking. It has to be a better three out of Mark. TSM. TSM, the only way TSM wins Worlds yeah, is if they well, sign RJS. If they yeah. sign RJS, they will probably win Worlds. Until then, they have no chance. Oh, Rich, you're griefing. What are you doing? Huh? What the fuck is happening, Top? Guys? What? Yeah, Rich, just getting caught out. Nice from JJ to move around the wards that have you know what would be the best team in the world? Is if you have RJS in four of the roles and then Nicholas Latifi mid. I think you would probably win worlds. So what does Rich do here? Where is he? Oh, he sees JJ and he's trying to run down. Ah, I see. I see what he's trying to do there. Understandable. Yeah, a bit of a mistake here from Rich, and that's not what you want to see. That might give Dude, this guy to comes into the chat. I mean, gets a kill, but Faker! Faker! What's kind of avenue is better than not. Yeah, I just, it's just a case of what do you do with this kill? Because Flandre can't really utilize it particularly well. You still have the rest of the map is in favor of V5. Karsa, I imagine, going to reset and start to move down towards this bottom side of the map. He has the Rift out his back pocket. Crazy. Rookie has full control over mid because he's got the blue buff advantage there. So you can now start to make plays down onto this bottom side. And even with Dragon up now as well, just hyper-focusing bot side is going to be the play for V5. Well, I mean, second Dragon as well. We're going to roll into a cloud. We're going to roll. See what we get as Rich moves back up Doesn't want to risk it again for a plate. Another turret shot. It ain't deja vu at the moment, though. It's Rookie's in the chat. How is Rookie in the chat? He's playing the lane. Is he is actually here? Two, Dagger and, uh, JJ now it is all fully equipped. We'll have to see if he can make some magic happen because people got a photo of walking in. As Root comes down. EDG still stepping up with the poke, but that gives Viper a head. Oh, nice stun. Nice eat. But Mako with the devour first. Oh, nice W. Angry. There's the poppy pick. Plain and simple, Dagda. It's going to do a lot of work as EDG now with the package too. I think V5 can fight this Herald. They have Kalista ult for this guy. If they go on him. Nice flash by Photic. Nice knock as well by Karsa. Hostile takeover misses. Insane fighting. Flandre also TP'd bot. That means Rich needs to play for plates here. Now Rich gets his time in the sun too. I mean, Rift Out gets put down by Karsus, so gets the charge of bot. EDG now on the dragon because they know they have to commit to this. So, honestly, as V5, you're pretty okay with this. You got some pressure on the bot side. You're getting turret plates on top. Nobody actually ended up falling in that engage. So, he, you end up with a gold advantage at the moment for V5, whereas at least on EDG, you slow that dragon stack from just a smidge. True. I mean, it is an internal soul as well. So, we do have a much slower soul, which when you're looking at EDG's comp, as you talk about Dagda. That is going to give them that extra five minutes uh, of gameplay. So, small wins here and there. And the gold isn't ramping too far out. I was gonna Dude, there's way too many bad chest T1 and Jorahs in the chat. I love T1 as well, yeah. We but calm down. We're watching this. Team. We know that they can really I don't want to watch T1 bully the last place team in the LCK. Okay. I really don't. Point, I want to watch like two it, world championship contending teams play against each other. I like T1. I'll watch T1 Maybe games. The, the I'm a big fan of T1. Them. I like their games. They're a very good team. The but... This series is just better right now because watching T1 destroy bro doesn't really show any, it doesn't really you know but it's just a case of like waiting to see not fun to watch for me huge amount of this early game is focused around him trying to support the bottom half of the map and yes they got the rift tower charge but none of that gold went to Fotic so he's still like Richard in his triforce not too far ahead in the the overall scheme of things then he should start winning this also playing for top tower is good versus the Iceborne Gauntlet. I don't care what this new name is. Oh, nice ult. Uh, Flandre with a bit of a trade here, but shielding helps a little bit on the pack. Rich able to su survive out as well. As look how first items are coming across the board. Worth mentioning, Karsa has one of those too. Uh, even the Gore Drinker picked up by JJ in the opposing jungle. So we are continuously getting uh, some of these pickups. As JJ gets a that was a bit awkward there. Karsa tried to find a sun. Here on the bottom side. It's Botic 
But bots here want to see... Oh, that's a lot of damage. I think they can get Dove here. They have no DPs. I think Photic should just hit the tower. He's trying to try and knock away Tama and then flash stun. Oh, it was really smart what he tried. It still opens up the bottom lane tower, but that's such a smart play. Good reaction by Viper. Nice attempt from Karsa, but as you already mentioned, flash and heal available for Viper, so he managed to step away out of that one. EDG, though, really nice try. bot lane turret. And now you can start to rotate both to the PP got up towards this top side, right as Rift Herald spawns. So really nice timing window punished there by V5. Now let's see if they can continue this with the next Rift Herald play as well. And remember as well, we still haven't seen that Weaver's Wall. So in front of the Herald, a quick rotate here from Rookie, who has had a pretty quiet game, number one. But, uh, we know that V5 have just been... They got bots here on. They're moving their bot lane top to get Herald and play uh, towards, you know, towards mid. What is that? What's that meme, Zachy? You know that guy is in the hot tub? Happy in lane, you know, happy on my, on oh, my lane. Oh, moisturizing. What is yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, You're on the right path. Yeah, I know it's... I oh, it's get them. It's oh. something to do with moisturizing. I know Ushin has it down. I just... Um, oh, that's all haven't right. seen it's, it at all. That's okay. <laughs> Wait, should we do the Yasuo tweet if T1 beat bro? <laughs> Today, they'll be happy that you said that. Hey, Harold gets picked up though. And Second hydrate. one here for V5. That's what and hydrate. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll do that. I'll look, do that look what you mean. I just followed the instructions. All right, that's all you need to do from here. <laughs> Zach, tell me, second Harold, what's the meaning of the play while Fotig takes down his own solo? This tweet, wait. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you don't have to use a top, you might as well use it mid, right? Everything else on the map is already taken out. Tanya scores 106 points against so wheelchair basketball team. Going to be pretty happy with that one, and this time around. You are getting this gold going in towards Fotix, so he gets the kill on bot terror, gets the brick gold on top turret as well. So you're starting to see this Kalista now stepping it's up. It's T1 versus Bro, and like they're just stomping them. To get the push from Rookie in top side, collapse on towards mid with the Rift Herald, see if you can force DDG away from the turret or a DDG overextend. Maybe you can actually just look for a couple of kills. I think Fate's call is going to make it pretty dangerous with that overextension dagger. I mean, Fotix is doing so much damage already, but as he sits now in the mid lane, Okay, Drake's up in 50. They need to have good mid pushing to Drake. Also burnt in that last little trade. So I think it's worth mentioning that the bottom line is still... Oh, minus one. ...despite having Devour and Flash for Mako too, that uh, Viper has been punished this game a couple of times, and V5 have been pretty consistent on trying to burn his summoners all game long. Here's that Rift Herald play we're talking about. The rookie pushes in topside, now collapsing on mid. If you end up staying around too long, that's the Weaver's Wall. I mean, it comes nice out, wall. Them out. Get a free Makes it hard for them to clear the wave. Good job, rookie. Holy V5. That now. TP is Be really far. It's packaged, though. With a package in this early on. Still take it, but the from V5 oh, he could get a really good package here. We'll have them all stuck in the wall. The into his river, but scout oh, scout. Hasn't shown in front of sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> oh my god, that was insane by Car. Oh, he saved him. Where Scout? Oh no, the knock away saved a lot of them. Oh, rich! Nice. B5 win anyway. Wow. I think if Scout got the package in the direction that he wanted to, that would have been an insane fight for EDG. But JJ ulted them back, so they actually had a little bit difference of a um, little bit more space backwards to work with, and then Rich just kind of carried it anyway. Good fight. Really good fight. Poppy OP? Yeah, Poppy OP. Yet another dragon here from EDG to stall out the game. We've also got a second kill on the Fotic here, and he's got a Gwinsu's Rage Blade dagger. So I'm I'm feeling like this game is going to keep warming up and pacing up with V5 now a uh, bit of an item lead. And it's unusual for EDG to kind of go for this style of composition because not being able to play for these mid game fights really does hinder them. Yeah, I don't like seeing Viper on Fasting Center. I would like to see him on actual champ. And I want to take a look here. So no, insane knock. Karsa, and good engage. No flash Viper. Scout, Viper good flash eat. But look here. If this, if Scout gets this, package, they're all dead. But then he, he knocks them back. The ultimate comes through from PP ah, God I think Scout could have got a turbo package. Scout, Actually did a lot anyway. 
Rich's NAR was crazy. Launching himself into that back line, gets that massive mar NAR. So no damage really comes through or no disrupt comes through from the package thanks to the way yeah. b5 played that fight really really well orchestrated on across the board honestly on b5's side and a bit of anti-synergy as well i will say with uh jj's ultimate there dagger we're watching again it's jj who pops his ulti and sends three of b5's members up so you know scout doesn't get to do the damage anyway with a rookie stopwatch on top it feels really bad to watch and Kind of some of the criticism we talked about with EDG, not only having some of these slower early games with lanes being insufficient. I mean, this Kalista is insanely fed. Wait, Viper is playing a champ where he's three levels down. Feels like such a waste. Five or three K gold lead. Already mentioned the items coming through. Zagda now. I mean, Baron's coming up, and if there's another mistake, V5. Well, they have a Kalista, so it is going to be fast enough alongside Nah to threaten that objective too. And even just the inability to face check on EDG side is going to be struggled because as you can see, JJ takes a lot of damage. Rich is going to be in a perfect spot to threaten side lanes if Flandre ever tries to group with them. So you end up in a position where you don't actually have anyone on EDG that can try and threaten for They're the trying to bait Nash. They should wait for Clist to come out of base and then just start Nash. Oh, they're trying to make a two man pick, a bit risky. They're two versus four. But it's Rookie and Karsai, the best mid jungle in the world, so it's fine. That is a teleport down, and just like that, EDG are forced to come to the ground of V5. And V5 just playing well around the phase rush on Poppy. She goes in, she gets the, the triple proc, runs that back out at the speed of light. EDG are named to How many stacks are they going to get in this? Kalista will have a lot of stacks. Rookie needs to zone them away, and Rich needs to not die. Oh, the wall to turn, and then Poppy can stun into it. Away goes Flandre, but not in the nick of time. The but they don't have any damage for frontline, or do they? Oh my god. Oh my god, this chain CC on the Sejuani Tam was unbelievable. That was ridiculous. Did you see that? Weaver's wall into WE, into Poppy Stun, into uh, Renata ult, into Gnar Gnarled. Like, that frontline just got bodied, man. And their backline was zoned from the wall. I mean, their team fight is so clean. And now V5 gets to turn back over towards the Baron as well. TP God gets hit by a slow, but he'll be fine. And just like that, V5 open up this game. Yeah, this is one. V5 are just built different. These world champs don't stand a chance, bro. Talked about in lane, Victory 5 played the same game that we know they've always played. They kept it fast, they wore through their laning phase, and they came out with this comp that you talked about completely walked over EDGs and look at this great wall again. Yeah, that wall from Rookie impeccable. Catches Flandre perfectly as he tries to dash over the wall. Uh, Rich is zoning everyone. You get the Narult as well over that little wall to keep everyone in check. And then you just get Karsa. This is this is a Wambulance. Like, he's yeah. just running around making sure he can hit everyone. Then it's like, oh, okay, we got the next victim. All right, cool. Just let me pop the safe house presence. Make sure you're not getting out again. That was insane frontline CC. For every little bit that he can get. A V5 Pog, play this let's so go, man. Well, six to one. A 6,000 gold. Games are banger. 30 seconds, and we're going Games are banger yeah, indeed. Yeah, Viper saved by his support, but Mako, how far can he get? Because he's in a bit of trouble now with Botic running forward. This three-item Callista taking charges. Carter jumps in for a two-man knock-up, but takes no damage under the turret. Mako's now out of the trade, and with the third dragon available for Victory 5, we knew they were getting this before, but that little fight just showcases how much he's... Really, really insane. Yeah, I don't know, V5's... Make sure that there's very little... V5's really good. Here from EDG, trying to trade, like, mid to push for they're going to play for Drake, make sure they're safe, and then they're probably going to play on bot wave for bot tier 2. Dragon, scouts moving back up towards the top side because they realize their time here in mid lane is done. So EDG maybe trying to see if they can salvage something with the... Uh, uh, yeah, here's the push for bot tier 2. All they need to do now is just cover Rookie, because if they cross map top tier 1, you can get this bot tier 2. It's super free. They just need to make sure they play on two lanes here and they get a mid. Someone pushes mid. Nar, someone? Hello? Someone just pushed mid. Poppy? Yeah, anyone? Oh, they're TPing behind Scout. Ah, he saw it. Yeah, if you TP on a pink, you can actually see it on the minimap. Good TP by Scout there. Good reaction. They should be able to get mid as well. The problem is they're 4v5 on the engage because Nar can't join. But they should be able to get it on. And then this is like they can. Baron, maybe they can move to maybe lanes. they can just play on mid top so now i don't know if they can actually try and push they have a minute left on baron here. Might be a little ah smart here by rich what he's done he's holding the wave here to wait for them to push mid so that he can join the waves together he's just waiting a bit 
away. Unbothered, moisturized. He's buffing it. My lane, folks. And now when this crashes, he's going to push. So there's two uh, pressure points. So Corky can't pushed. wave yes. through mid. <laughs> you gave me two of those words, man. You deserve the respect. <laughs> really good play there. And now they can move into top because he has a wave. Cool. Oh, wait, they're going to engage on. Oh, nice, nice run out ult. Here we go, dead, and so is Fotic. Bailout. Bailout. Nars here. Oh, Karsa. You fucking monster. Rich, you got Mega Baby. You can ult him back. Ult him back. Nice. Nice knock again. Holy fuck, this V5 comp has so much CC. This V5 comp is really fun to watch. Pog, let's go, man. Sideways, he's turned into four. sushi. V5 now got to crack the base alongside and add a little bit of that dust to the meal. V5 really cool. He won stomped. Okay, we're going to do a vote Richard review rookie, of the T1 game. The we'll do a vote review of it scaled. later on. Take that in there with him. It's just so fun to watch this team and EDG having absolutely no say. Now, Dak, I think this was their best fight, to be fair, though. Yeah, I was really surprised JJ went for it off the Weaver's wall. We'll do a review of it later. But T1 but beat Bro? No nice way did they beat Bro in 20 minutes. The, uh, comes through, so he's I mean, yeah, it's fun comp though. Nice stun by Karsa. Nice CC by Rookie. Finish and then they did the same thing again to this Tom. Then he gets no Tom, he gets Nar stunned into Narwhal, into Rookie knock. So much CC. So everyone on B5 who's able to get here just is involved really cool. in the fight. Which is why I really don't I think building GA now. Yeah, I think he definitely needs GA. But look, how many options do you have at this point? Shirelli is used to get to the top oh, side. Scout. Scout. Uh, Scout's Scout's dead. Scout's dead. to get out of this one. Valkyrie in flight is what you're looking for. But Fotic runs up to him. This Corky doing damage. But nice. Now they play on top waves. Let, PP, uh, let Fotic life steal. Really good. Top tier 2 is dead. Two minutes on, on Drake. Man. They can just base soon if they want and play for Drake. Wag 1. Unless they want to force this top tier 3, but Nar has no TP. They have to use Tally ult if they want to do it. I mean, you've already got mid inhibitor down. Is EDG going to defend this? Hello, here. guys. Uh, Rich a little bit slow and pushing out on this bot side. Wow. The whole well. tower's just dead. But it doesn't matter. EDG can't get <laughs> no one defends it. Uh, put the subs in the air. They don't have any wave clear, I guess, without Corky. Game one looks done and dusted in for our match of the week. Wow. I mean, EDG now backs against the wall. At B5 so good. In the game. Rich, as you said, and it's not even blue side did. Your uh, magic, thanks to the friend. Not even blue side did. Double inhibitor now down, Zagda. Over the wall. They're backing off. But uh, V5 aren't going to stick around for any shenanigans now. This has looked like match of the peak, though. Peak V5. This oh, is yeah. absolutely incredible from these guys. Like the plays that we're getting from the walls, from Rookie, uh, Fotic. Guys, chat, stop being cringe. Chat, 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 chat. Well. If you enjoyed the T1 game, great. I'm going to vote of you. I love T1 games as well. But you don't have to come in here and start I mean, spamming the, LPL the badge. And then people don't have to spam back and say, LCK, lol, they beat bro, kek. No. Guys, just chill out. We'll watch the T1 game later. Yeah, We're watching like, this game now. You know, we, we know set of times not gonna have as Don't be weird, chat. Still. Don't be weird. Can we all be nice? Can we all be friends? Can we all be happy? Impossible challenge. Be friends. Can we all just... Everyone spam XDD. Clean up the chat. Everyone spam XDD. Come on. Clean up the chat. Oh, JJ. Nice flash. XDD spam. All right. Chat's cleaned up now. Good. Right before Baron spawns, right before the dragon soul, and Dagda with the timers being 30 seconds apart, they can rush and then head over. Why can't you guys be nice? Yeah, it looks like is it so hard to be nice? Regular game of hey, we're gonna bait Baron as you try and contest dragon, and just send Rich over to take dragon. He has his TP available. Can we all just? The rest of no, I won't say it. <laughs> I'm just as bad as you guys if I say it. Pog, let's go, man. I was gonna say, can we all just find a common enemy? XDD. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Ooh, nice W there. Stops the JJE. Nice. Oh, the package is massive. PP God can't move. Neither can Photic, but he's going forwards anyway. Scout GA. Landry dead. The other man as well. Wow, EDG are winning this fight. Like, this is actually winning. Going two for three. Let's go, man. Ah, uh, but the Viper does no damage. Now it's over. Yeah, GG. Quadra kill, quadra kill, quadra kill, quadra kill. Give the Penta, give the Penta. Penta, 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 Penta. Damn, Votic Penta kill. out the game from B5. The minions were already doing their hard work. The base is in shatters. And B5, Penta kill. Smash EDG. What a fucking dominant game. I really like their comp.